Hey guys, it's the uh, second week in October. I've got this weekend and next weekend before I plan on moving, um, moving the camper the weekend after that. So um, with uh, getting the plumbing done last week, that was a big, big break on the uh, infrastructure of the trailer. So basically today I have planned to uh, move the refrigerator back where it goes, mount it back to the wall and to the floor, and then uh, priming the entire interior all the way back up to the uh, the bedroom, getting that all primed up. I'm not sure whether it'll take one or two coats, but we'll find out once we get in there. Um, and then uh, if I have some time, lay the floor so that we that way next week I can come out and paint over the prime after it's dried. And then do some more flooring. But the major part of it is done. The cabinets still need to be put together and put in. I still need to find a sink, a uh, kitchen sink. Uh, I may end up just having to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and just buying a cheap sink, which is not what I want. But I can always uh, replace it later. Um, just want to go ahead and get something in there and sink in a faucet. Um, so I, I know that I've got that when I get to where I'm going. Uh, there has been some changes in the uh, the property this last week. Uh, I told you last week that uh, they were already digging the trenches and laying the, the plumbing and stuff for the, the, the lots out there. Well, I got home last, uh, uh, it was Sunday afternoon at, at last week. The landlord called me and said the lady that was doing all the work and was going to be the manager out there uh, got sick and had to back out. So... Uh, they they've already dug the trench for everything, but they haven't laid the lines and haven't laid the pipes. And uh, she doesn't want to deal with that. That was more the other lady's uh, uh, dream to do to set up that park out there. So the landlord offered me the entire acre and a half for uh, about double what she was asking for a single lot for a, a quarter of it. So I'm getting a, a pretty good deal. So I told her I'd go ahead and take it. Uh, she said you can do whatever you want with land out there. She said I could rent it out if I want to, rent some other lots out to help uh, make up the difference in cost. Um, I think right now I'm just going to keep it for myself. It's affordable, it's cheaper than the apartment, and I'll have an acre and a half to myself with no noisy neighbors slamming doors and and uh, and just see where it goes from there. I, I, you know, I might get, you know, I don't, I don't know, I might put a little farm out there or I might rent it out to a couple people. Uh, we'll see. It's got a four-bedroom septic uh, on it on the lot, so it can handle you know probably four four trailers, um, and it's got a well and it's got electricity. And, uh, I've I've decided on the internet, satellite internet, so we'll go from there. So um, change of plans, but it ended up working out uh, working out pretty good. And I'm gonna go in here and check everything and get started painting, and then I'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay, okay. hey guys. Um, I'm wrapping things up here. I actually ran out of uh, primer, so I've come to a hard stop. I uh, just want to show you where I got done. You know, there's the, the back of the trader. I put the refrigerator back where it goes, and if you see on top, there's two clips there in the back that screw the refrigerator to the wall so it doesn't move around while we're moving. Um, I cleaned up a little bit, and these are all the all the wood scraps that I'm keeping. The rest of them I went ahead and I threw away. Uh, they're in the trunk, getting ready to be thrown away. Uh, you see I moved some stuff around um, and as we go forward you can see I primed almost everything. I primed the ceiling up here where I put that up there. I primed the rest of this wall uh, back. I primed this wall. I pulled that little box that was on the wall. I'm going to get some of that service mount electrical ch uh, channel stuff and put all that stuff in correctly. He just had a bunch of a bunch of boxes and had them surface mounted so it looked kind of stupid but big one big one is I got the bedroom painted mostly I got the kills on all the walls that's just just one coat but I think it should be okay if I get a nice um, that bare paint I bought covers pretty good, so as long as I get most of the red covered, I think the paint will do the rest of the job. So I got all of this, all of this painted. Uh, the ceiling, here's where I ran out. I started working across the ceiling, and I ran out right there. So I still got a little bit left in the ceiling. Um, and I'll, I'll just have to get that next week. I'm going to go by Lowe's after, after this and, and get all my supplies for next week. So that's all I got left for that, and then I can start painting. 
start back there with the stove and just work my way up this way and start painting. I measured this bedroom back here today for my, I have a queen size bed at the house and whoo, it's close fit. It, uh, it, if I run it long ways with the head up there and the foot down here, it pretty much takes up the entire space. I have a couple inches to uh, spare and then it'll come out to right about here. So I think I have about two feet. So I put the bed up against the wall there. I'll have enough room to crawl in and get out. So basically this back here is just a sleeping area. You're really not going to have much of anything back here. Uh, storage will be under the bed. Um, I did measure from this wall over to this kick out uh, right here. I don't know if you can see it in this picture. See how the wall is kind of kicked out. So right here at this, this kick out spot, I measure from that over here. And my, my mattress could fit this, this way with the, the head of the bed here and, and the put down there. But uh, I would have to go all the way to this kick out here. So my, my bed will go only go to there. So if I were to come in here and build a platform across here, about that high, where that kick out is in there, I could put the mattress long ways here. And then I could have all this room over here, which would probably be better because you get the window here. I could put some shelves on the wall, put some uh, IKEA cubby shelves on the wall here and up to get my storage. But uh, that will be something to do after after I get uh, to the new location. So I'll just go ahead and lay the, either I'll just lay the mattress on the floor and sleep there until I get the thing built or put the, you know, go ahead and put the bed together. I probably won't go ahead and put the bed better. It, since I'm, the more I think about it, the more I think it's a good idea because I'll have all that storage underneath. You know, I'll have from, from there down, it'll be all be storage and that's great for a trader. So I think I'll do that. Um, you see, I got the ceiling painted again. I got it spackled real good. That's, See a little bit seam a little bit, and I got the green that was up under there. Get that painted. Um, and yeah, I was, I was looking at the tile today. Like I said in the last video, that amount of floor was with the, I said two and a half boxes, but I still got a half a box here on top, so it was about two boxes. Um, so that's good. So that means I can run three boxes would probably run me out to. Right, right here where it's cut and that's perfect that's where the kitchen area stops and then this area here is going to be the living room and the bedroom so right there where the kitchen stops to the wall is where the couch used to be and i think that's a good place for a couch so i'm gonna i'm gonna build another one um I'm gonna do a, do a build in um maybe one that can fold out into a, 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 a like a futon type bed i'll look for some plans for that to do out of wood and then, uh, then again, all has storage underneath. I found uh, a little bit of rot in the floor today. I stepped on it. It's right here. It's isolated to a, it's isolated to about a foot in there. So I have decided I'm not going to tackle that right now. If I put the built-in couch there, that'll cover it. We we won't be stepping on it and, and destroying it more. And uh, the laminate floor that I'm getting is going to lay right on top of this vinyl. I'm not going to pull the vinyl up for that. So the laminate floor, it would be like a, like a cushion for the laminate floor. Um, so I'll just lay it on top so that will, will help strengthen that area up too. So I'm getting there. I've got one more week. Next week is my last week of work in this area. I, uh, I plan on moving it. I plan on moving it uh, on the 24th, the weekend, weekend of the 24th. Um, so I have to get everything done. Another thing i got to get done is it's that vent there needs to be put in right down there where that hole is. That hole's got to be cut bigger and come up a little bit. That is a, is a five inch dryer vent, but I'm going to use it for my uh, portable air conditioner uh, exhaust. Portable air conditioner is on, is on casters and it rolls around inside here. It's about about this tall, about as tall as, uh, as my, uh, my, my thighs. Um, and it, it has the vent to the outside to to send out the hot air that's, that's captured inside. So I'll just put that there. That way I can I can roll it around anywhere in here as, as far as that hose will go. I can roll it towards the you know the bedroom at, at night and, and up, you know here where I'm working. That will probably be with the refrigerator over this way. It'll probably be where I put my computer table because I'll have that window to look out, and that'll be right down out into the field that I'll be uh, that I'll be at. So it'll be a nice area to look at while I'm uh, working. 
So everything's coming along. Lots of little things, but nothing that I can't do on location. I'll come back here next week. I'm going to get some more uh, rollers and some more paintbrushes and come back next week and try to tackle these walls with the paint. Hopefully I got enough to to get all the way over. But I'll, I'll keep working and uh, I'll be back with you next week. But uh, this week, thanks for visiting uh, my camper home.